Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're tuning into Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title, we're making some Jamaican fish tea. We call it fish soup. Quick and easy recipe. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around. After the intro, we'll get right into it. We know about sardines, mackerel, chicken neck, chicken back. So fish tea, Jamaican settings, quick and easy and tasty. You think of tea, you think of soup, but it's in between, not thick, not too thin, just right, right? And I'm going to show you how to get it just right. So let me give you a rundown of the ingredients that we're working with here today. Firstly, we're going to put some dumplings in there. The Jamaican dumplings is just simple salt, water, flour and optional cornmeal. So for flour, I have one cup of flour, quarter cup of cornmeal. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to that, just to taste, and then we're gonna put about a quarter cup of water and adjust it there about to get that nice dough. So if, however, you wanna learn how to get your dumplings done, I have a full detailed video on that, so I won't go too much in depth with this. You can check it out right there. I have one corn on the cob, and I cut those into small little half a moons. And then we have here half pound of pumpkin, right? That's already peeled and cut. And we have half pound of yellow yam. I didn't cut it up fully, I just peeled it and then wash it with some lime just so it doesn't oxidize. And oxidize means to become brown. And under here you can't really see, but I have some Irish potato, two small ones, not too much food in this one today. Two small ones already diced up in cubes. And that's it for the provision, right? Right here now we have the star of the show, some kingfish head. And I just went ahead and I cut this up into smaller pieces, wash it properly with some vinegar and remove all of those. And again, I have a video out on how to descale and clean season whatever fish you're using. So check that out. You can use kingfish for this, but ensure you use fillet fish because you don't want those small bones in there. That's going to be hazardous, right? So we use kingfish here because the bones are very minimal. And if there's any bone, it's like one big bone, really. So we use the kingfish head, wash that clean. And with the head of the kingfish, it had like a small portion of the body part that had a little bit of meat on there. I'm not really looking for fish to eat. I'm looking for that flavor. Again, it's a tea, right? And that is one medium-sized kingfish head about one and a half to two pounds thereabout. And over here now, for the seasons, we have five cloves of garlic already peeled and I smashed them. One small carrot dice, and we have two stalks of fresh scallion. This is not green onion, this is a Jamaican scallion that has the purple roots, right? That I go. And then three stalks of fresh thyme, a scotch bonnet pepper, and then we have here one tablespoon of pimento we call it allspice berries and this is just going to give the soup a nice touch over the edge and of course right here we have some water to just make that dough and last but not least to season we have some fish tea seasoning we got this in the grace packet what i did was just cut that open and just sift out those little um noodles those they, they make your soup get thick when they because they overcook so quickly and it just makes it look like a big mess because i'm big on how your food look and with those noodles it just doesn't look good so majority of the video is done the ingredients to put this all together it's so simple right so there you go for the ingredients we're just gonna go ahead now we have a pot with boiling water and we're gonna start but first we're gonna make that dough again have a full recipe on this if you want to get detailed all right so we're gonna put a little bit of salt this is just one cup that should do some water and i'm making the dough right now to just let it rest for a little bit while i get the water going for everything you can have it i have my water on already and i'm just gonna make the dough and set it Incorporate the cornmeal and everything. Let's add some water. Nice little spinach, you know. Mm. 
Yep. And mommy make dumpling in there, man. Clean the body, feast, and nothing ever in there, you know. Wipe it down, man. You know? But yeah. There you go. Quick and easy dough. Just gonna cover this up if you don't want it to go dry. And then set that aside just to rest a little bit. And we're just gonna work on everything else. So to start off, we have here three quarts of water, right? And it's already heated. We're gonna add those pimento berries in. Give it flavor from the get-go. This is 45 grams, about three tablespoons of that fish tea seasoning. If you don't have, come out of my way and a smoke. If you don't have the fish tea seasoning, you can use Old Bay because that's seafood seasoning, so you get like a similar taste, right? So that can be used. So we're gonna go in with half the amount of that fish tea seasoning right now. Mix that in. We're gonna go in with our garlic cloves. And half the amount of our fresh thyme and our pumpkin. So what we're doing right here is we're trying to get that color from the pumpkin nice little light color it doesn't have to be rich like an original pumpkin soup that's why there's only half pound of pumpkin in here it's just to give it a little bit of color and body really if i had snapper i wouldn't put it in at this stage because i would want to get that meat from it but because this is merely bones and we're going for flavor versus like the fish itself we're going to add this with the pumpkin just so we get that flavor boil out of the um bone marrow right so we're gonna go in with that fish in here. So fish is in, 10 minutes just before you finish cooking the soup, you drop like whatever fillet fish you have, just so you don't overcook that. But this, I'm just going for merely taste here. All right, smell like fish tea already. Cover that up. Once the pumpkin is softened and cooked to an extent, we can crush those out. I'll just leave them, they'll crush out on their own. And then I'll show you what we're gonna add next as we go along. So about 15 minutes to 20 minutes and we should be good. I have to turn this down because it's fogging up my lenses, right? So now we have the cookout to an extent. Next up, we're gonna add into that our yam. And I didn't cut it as I said because I didn't want it to get any darker than this. So we're just gonna cut that into nice little cubes. So they cook real fast. So that's it. We're gonna throw this water off. Then we're gonna put the yam, the Irish potato, and the corn at once. Then we're just gonna go right in. And as I said, I just turned this off because it's getting my lens all fogged up. I'm just going to let this cook and while that's boiling up, we're going to add our dumplings. I'm just going to pinch them because we're just going to use small dumplings in here. So just pinch and pull. Any parties you have, if they have fish tea, nothing is too big and chunky in there. You know it's nice and small, just roll that up and then just press it. So that's what we're working with, nice little one bite dumpling and of course you can always spin some of them like so you can spin as we call them let me give that a stir to ensure that these dumplings are not sticking to the bottom of the pot so now we're going to go into our carrot the remainder of our thyme and our scallion as well as that scotch bonnet pepper but you put like a whole scotch bonnet a green one with the stem and everything you don't burst or you don't cut it up. You just allow it to get the flavor out of that. And after we're done, we're just going to remove that. The remainder of our fish tea seasoning in here. Give that a nice little stir. And now you realize everything is coming together beautifully. So let us give that a taste. Warm up the hand middle. Hand middle too cold with the hot soup. It's going to burn you. Know? In. All right. This needs seasoning. Gonna hit that with some fresh ground black pepper. 
about a half teaspoon so now we have everything in we put the remainder of the fish tea seasoning the salt level is not enough for us so we taste that and we're going to season that with either all-purpose seasoning and the all-purpose seasoning that i'm using it has a hint of lime in it which is perfect for the seafood right and we're going to use that to just flavor to our liking if you have like the muggy cock soup you can use that as well just strain it off as i did with the fish tea seasoning just to get rid of those small noodles because those are going to just overcook and get this too thick everything's smelling good and i'm going to go in now with two tablespoons because i already tasted it and i know what it tastes like mix that in and you won't get all those flavor all at once you know so you mix that in give it another taste this tastes like it needs a little bit more seasoning i'm not going to use no more fish seasoning what i'm going to use is one of the same grace but the cock soup noodle this has a bit of salt content to it we're going to sift again because we don't want those noodles in and as i said you can always adjust the flavor i'm going to put another two more tablespoons of this in here because i see where it needs it and for the water again it's three quarts right so get a sift and we're going to go in so that looks good about half the pocket because one pocket is about four tablespoons and we'll just sift that right in mix that in well this looks so nice and thick and then warm up the hand mingle give it a taste if it only needs to boil perfect perfect so in total i use two tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning one pack of that fish tea seasoning which is 45 grams and then two tablespoon of the cock soup noodle and that's it for the seasoning with the three quarter water and the provision this is good just gonna cover that the more it cooks the more that flavor will seep in and to cook these yams and the dumpling it's gonna run us around 10 to 15 more minutes so on medium heat and we should be good to go I'm going to remove like the thyme sticks as well as the bones from that fish head and as I explained to you earlier the bones are nice and chunky like this so they're easy to remove and you don't have to worry about when you're eating it you'll get bones you know so there you go not too thick not too thin just in between now we get nice little chunks of the fish that broke away from that bone don't forget the corn you know don't forget the corn you know all right what are you dumpling them what are you dumpling them there get two dumpling skim two dumpling them hard ah see them there hard for fine beautiful what else down there? Yam with the yam them, see the yam them there. Shake out the yam. Get two pieces of yam in there. And then now some extra soap. See that? Beautiful. And there you go. We garnish with the lemon because anything seafood after you don't eat you get a little lemon inside you just squeeze a little lemon in your mouth if you get rid of that fish smell especially if you're out at a formal gathering you get where i come from and there you have it how to make your very own homemade fish tea fish soup you get where i come from jamaican way this is quite quick and easy the hardest part which is not even hard is to get those provisions prepped and to make your boiled dumpling everything else is just an easy follow as you saw there so once again if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also if you love the vibe subscribe click that little bell there so anytime school bell ring you are one of the first to be in class to get in the lesson which is a blessing see 
and i just want to say we have a few more videos out on soups and winter is coming up so you know we're going to get back down into the soups and the comfort food isn't me a lot of people has um a lot of persons ask me to get the um, manish water that one is coming pretty soon as well as that pepper pot soup so look out for those out now is the um red pea soup the beef and pumpkin the chicken foot soup so check out them one day but here is the fish tea so once again thank you very much for watching until next time see if travel on the gravel and go and big up on yourself.